This is our backyard. That was our swing set. Marissa Crochet of Lake Charles, Louisiana, walking us through her backyard after the storm. My husband works for the sheriff's department, so this was his canine's kennel. Her family choosing to stay the night as one of the most powerful hurricanes in U.S. history rocked the region. Despite knowing she won't have running water for weeks, Marissa considers herself lucky. Entire mobile home communities ravaged, roadsides flooded, and numerous down power lines just miles from where she lives. Honestly, I was waiting for the playground to fly through. This is our bedroom window, our master bedroom window. I was waiting for it to fly through, so we ended up sleeping on the living room floor. About an hour east of Lake Charles, Cincinnati native Emily Shearer didn't know what to expect. The whole thing like leading up to this kind of scared me because obviously I'm from the Midwest. I'm not used to any of this stuff that was happening. Emily is a Lakota West graduate, currently in her junior year at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. About half a mile down the road, one of the fraternity houses completely collapsed. Like people are locked in their houses because the water is so high they can't move. Her apartment complex didn't see any damage, but she feels for all the communities that did. She says the university did advise students to leave if they were able. They said go up north more if you could. Um, because they knew that Lafayette and Lake Charles were going to get the brunt of the, um, you know, when it made landfall. Now, both of the women I spoke with said the damage was very hit or miss. You could sort of walk down a street and it would be destroyed, but just a block over, all the homes would be fine. So just another reason tonight they feel very lucky to be safe. Reporting live tonight, Helena Batapaglia, WLWT News 5.